So, Anto. Yes, Jono. Round two. Round two. Of oh. Ernest Fares, Edward Hopper, yeah. poems, and today we're looking at Gas 1940. After you, John. That's very kind of you. Yeah. Uh, here we go. So, this is my rendition. Dust kicks up as the car stops at the gas station and the attendant who works the pumps doesn't even look up. Well away from any hassle, this place is a clearing deep in the woods beneath their untamed shadows where sunlight falls, cloaking it in a vapid light and like a quickening path, the road disappears round a sharp bend between the heavy trees on either side. Bushes, scrub grass, earth, give off some striking aromas which get down into the lungs. The cadenced chirping of the crickets, like sparks, resound in the evening air. The outlines that command the view won't take long to dissolve like sugar or some vegetable dyes. Once you're here, just making a halfway stop en route, degrees of solitude raise their heads there's the loneliness that blows with the gentle wind that moves the leaves and branches, and the one that's hard to grasp. There is the solitude of the wilderness, and the one that only they will know who cling to the steering wheel as they flee the loneliness of the city and skidding down the narrow roads come to a halt where the wood is at its most elusive. Benzina, 1940. The car stops and dust rises round the pump, and the man who works the levers does not bat an eye. Far from confusion, this is a clearing in the heart of a wood under untamed shade. The setting sun covers it in a cape of dismal light and like a fast getaway, the road disappears into its borders of heavy trees. Thickets and grass and soil exhale exquisite aromas that penetrate your lungs. Lilting chirps of crickets resonate in the sparkling evening air. Silhouettes dominating the view soon dissolve like sugar or like vegetable pigments. Once here, although only pausing halfway, a crescendo of solitudes face you, the solitude that blows with the slow breeze that moves the leaves and branches, and solitude that is hard to broach, and the solitude of the wasteland, and the solitude only felt by those who cling to the steering wheels of cars and sliding down narrow roads pull in where the woods welcome least. Mm, you, you, you want to start with the last word? Which was the All right, well, before. yes, you see, now I had a long list uh, which I sat looking at. I had a long list of synonyms here, Atto. Um, let's see, what about... Um, oh, yeah. The last word is what in Catalan? Uh, uh, esquiu. Esquiu, yeah, that's right. Um, which I means... Uh, well, it's wild, untamed, evasive, not communicative, hard to contact. Elusive, illusory, puzzling, yeah. baffling. Those up to then sort of positive context. Shifty. Somebody's got one of me down there, schema. I mean, it's, it's yeah. your, it's, you're trying to avoid eye contact. Well, the man's not Shifty. looking at them. The exactly. fact that he doesn't turn an eye towards yeah. this person who's yeah. arrived. Shifty, evasive. Evasive was the first dictionary definition that I got. Yeah. So it depends yeah. on whether you want to uh, want to bring out a sort of more negative quality to it or not. Uh, and I mean, I understand. I, I mean, I, in my final version, I still didn't come yeah, down until, until I had the moment of truth of reading it. And I, my choice was elusive, baffling, or puzzling. Elusive is a bit more so elusive because the positive. man's not looking. Uh, you know, this is this is not a place for you to be. But the baffling emphasizes the mystery. Of the, I mean, the the fact that you can't get your head around it really. 
Okay. Whereas elusive just means that you suspect there is a meaning there, but it's escaping you. Okay. I translated by antinomy. So yes, the opposite. Yes. So, so what's you, the opposite? So Welcoming. you didn't commit yourself to. Um, no an adjective. I, well, the adjective would have been well unwelcoming. Yeah. Um, but I made welcoming so least because I wanted the the e sound of city and sliding down. City sliding down. Well, solitude. I, I would see that. I would argue you would. I mean, the, the the poem is very prosaic, but it really winds up in Catalan. It yes. winds up really well that last section. Yes, uh, I mean, I wanted to get that. I wanted to get the, the rhythm. When, when you said that it winds up well, it's true that that line about the gentle move that move uh, the, the gentle wind that moves the leaves and, and the branches. I mean, there and it's easy in English. It, it it gives you a very nice, easily flowing um, sentence. Virtually with a literal translation. Yeah, yeah, that was easy. So at that point, you suddenly thought, "Oh yes, this is feeling like poetry." No, the Catalan does it as well. It, yeah, no, it does. It's it does. a sprung thing. It, it suddenly gets on, and it suddenly sweeps it, in. It, it, yeah, but but that's partly because it just glues yeah. together these rather easy um, oh, phrases. Right. No, the blow of the gentle wind. Un bufa. What does it say? Que bufa molven que fluis que moles fulles y las brancas. No, yeah, yeah, blancas y aquellas que es costoso. The, the way it adds all these noun phrases. phrases to the lerm, what you put for him. Oh, erm, yes, you went for wasteland. Well, it's the obvious thing, was that? Yeah, uh, but I mean, we're talking about trees, though. Literary I mean, reference. And, and, yes, uh, I know, no, we all, we all sort of... We all said it to yourself, but would you go there? You didn't. And, and I know? didn't. I, I went for wilderness. Because the but Erem is is a desolate place, desolate well, place, or it's a place, or it's a place uh, in which uh, yeah. it is a place in which an ermita, that's to say, a hermit goes. So wilderness, you know, the voice crying in the wilderness. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, not bad. I mean, I I, I didn't get. I know that in Catalan, Erem is the translation. It's the word used in Catalan from. translations of T. S. Eliot. Yeah. Um, oh well, I, I I went for the literary illusion, John. Uh, but you know, if you look good. at the pictures, though, I found wasteland didn't really suit. Yes, because I mean you're in the middle of a forest, mate. It's a solid, yes, okay. okay. And you could call a forest a wilderness. Yes, yes, sure. No, you're right. I, I concede defeat on that particular one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I like the thought. I like my last word better, though. Than elusive. I mean, elusive is fine, but I know it, elusive can be yes. Oh, um, something you're trying to grasp and chasing after. And, and this is this is not welcoming. This is not where you should be. You know, so th you didn't think of baffle puzzle? No. No, I, I had to, I wanted something savage and not conversive. Not you. You're not going to talk to this guy. You're not going to enter into any anything here in this place. Mm. You are alone. Mm. Yeah. Oh, these also, okay. The other thing that interests me was the solitude. Yeah. which dominates that whole last section. Mm. Um, He's he, got different words, though. Yeah, well, no, he does Yes, he has solitude. Solitude, solitude. Or well, hang on, we've got solitude and we've got loneliness. Yes, yeah, sure, you can do that. But then he's got I aquella, I like it. I know, no, yeah. And I didn't use any of those... Uh, well, you just repeated solitude there. I did, yeah. Um, to emphasize the crescendo effect. Yes. Yes, and, and you had crescendo there. For and when I put in, and that which, and that which, it was hard mm. to, 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 to be clear syntactically that, that it's this solitude, these different solitudes that are building. So you're saying that you got lost in my rendition of that section, are you? Well, I knew what, what it was supposed to be about, didn't I? So there's the loneliness that blows, and the one that's hard to grasp. Yes. There's the solitude, and yes. the one that. So, I mean, I was doing them in pairs. That's right, yeah. I only asked you to remember the word mm. from one. Fair enough. One ellipsis there. Yes. Yes. Right. Okay. Brooch, brooch, brooch instead of grass. Brooch was interesting. I thought. Uh, what was it in Catalan? God, it was. Um, uh, um, aborda. Que es costosa de aborda. And I, I understood that to open a conversation about. Mm. I think I even put, had first had to talk about. Mm. Yeah, and then a little brooch. I was looking for the O sounds. Because uh, uh, Aborda does have the idea of coming close to. Uh, literally, etymologically. Yeah, but I, I really think it's to talk about. 
Well, he's, he would like, he, he, he says that. Okay, so, you, so in other words, you're the, he can't talk about it because it's. Uh, you, all right, so you're, you're sort of the theme that's the thing that you're grasping most strongly about the thing is the lack of openness with this man in the picture and the fact that he's he's sort of quiet, doesn't um, oh, uh, meet your face and so on. So you think it's. No yeah, yeah. Uh, he doesn't even turn to look at you. Yeah. And uh, then you've got the uh, Alsa la cara. Yes. Uh, la solicitud. I mean, he doesn't look at you, yeah. But this, you know, the the, the woods or forest and the road and the so they all turn. They to also you don't instead of him. They also like other. That's right. The the degrees of gradations yeah. of solitude or whatever you had, the uh, crescendo of solitude. Face you, but you face could turn you. to face you or. Okay, I had raised their heads. Yes, you could do that. I had too, raised their faces. Didn't that's a bit like. I know, it's close to cliche. Monsters coming out of the forest. Oh, I thought socialism raised its ugly head. <laughs> yeah, all right. Close to cliche there, I'm afraid. Okay, but I, I was playing off the man, not looking at the at the person. Okay, I, I can see that what you're doing is you that, that that the man not looking at the person has had more impact on you, guiding you in various choices at different points in the. Yes, yeah, so certainly the last one. Welcome. Yeah, um, yeah. Mine is more the the. Poet is looking at the scene and is finding, generally finding the scene a mystery rather than the man, such a mysterious. Okay. Because I, I used a second person as well mm. that penetrate your love. Okay, but the Catalan has yeah. just got. It doesn't use your love. Oh, yeah. Like, let's, I, uh, yeah, yeah full on. Right. I thought of. I thought of putting your, and then I thought, no, no, maybe, maybe we go for a more impersonal. So I did the. Yeah. Without allowing me to do face you. Which solved the problem of Alsa la Cara. Right. So yeah. I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm keeping the second person, I'm afraid. Right then. Anything what else? about, yes, uh, what about, um, oh, what did you do, where, where's the version? What, uh, what did you do for uh, Desori? Where's that? Benaparte, the tot Desori. Ah, confusion. Confusion, disorder. Disorder, yeah. Hassle. Okay, a bit, bit too lightweight. I think I mean, it goes back to what we had of the city. Yeah. Uh, the urban environment. Yes. Uh, and ur urban is repeated down there. I mean, it's... Yeah, disorder, okay. And okay. Everything. Um, you had... You stuck with something that I slightly abandoned there. Um, oh, what about this Ubago uh, Ferestega? Lindret is a shade that covers it. Yes. Okay. Um, it's the side of the mountain. It's a it's a damp shade. Right. And Verestiga is is wild, isn't it? Untamed. Untamed you had yeah. yeah. Fierce. Wild. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But what about that soot mess? What, Sub what submitted to? Yeah. Yeah. But dominated by. Yeah. Well, it's on the wrong side of the hill of a mountain, isn't it? You sorry, you're getting that from the picture. Well, in Bos Sot Mes, the shadow is coming over it, being submitted to it. I don't know what I put, I didn't put that, did I? Of a wood under untamed shade. But all right, okay, because you see, all right, in that case, perhaps when I said in the woods beneath their untamed shadows, there well, sounds like woods, shadows. and you're in your claiming that who, 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 the shadow does, does not come from the trees. Well, they, the trees can't be beneath their own shadows, can they? Or I know, but this is well. This is why I didn't, I found that tricky. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. right. I think it's coming from. This. Okay, so if I eliminate there, if you look then it's unattributed. at the painting, those trees are so dark. It's got to, it would be logical for a mountain to be blocking the sun that gets in there. Right. Mm -hmm. And and the the, the cloak, the Guabriga uh, okay. Amuna Kappa. Yeah, it covers it in a cape. Cloaks it in. Yeah, what do you like? And uh, Mitch Mort, uh, Sumorta, the Yum Sumorta. Ah, dismal. You had what? Vapid. What? <laughs> it just makes me think of a vapid blonde. I <laughs> remember you talking about vapid light. Aren't okay, it? All right. A vapid light. All right, okay. I think. Yeah. Dismal. No, Thinking of vapid. Vapid, vapid. You say vapid, vapid. Vapid, I do. Oh, vapid blonde, okay. Okay, and then here, the uh, Icomuna Viarang. Avan Civil. <laughs> to look I mean, at talk, that. Up, talk about yeah, but, but that is a bit disappointing to, to to discover. All it means is a road that makes you advance quickly. Well, I thought a fast getaway was pretty cool. 
Like he could get out of this situation if he wanted down that track. Okay. Yeah. I thought of it. I thought perhaps that meant like a shortcut. Uh, a place to get somewhere else quickly. Yeah. Well, I get away. And I mean, this and this is a menacing thing. Via Rang, Okay. Yeah. Via Rang is path, right? I mean, it's smaller than a road. A uh, track. What did I say? Track. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have a you track, and I I took it out. Uh, I, it was like a getaway track. I think I had first, okay. and then I thought, no, that's like. You know, a path through the forest. Yeah, I, I have to. I have to give you that one, Anto, because mine. I, I I did what you told me to do the other day. What if you don't that? understand it, just stick. Just yeah. give a literal rendition. Uh-huh. The quickening path. I thought. Oh, quickening. that sounds. No, no. What? A bit metaphysical, isn't it? Well, exactly. exactly. That word quicken. I mean, well, hastening, but quicken gave it a bit more metaphysics. But I agree. Perhaps that's not right. Okay. It's all pretty flat here, isn't it? Uh, what about that? The aromas. Aromas, aromas. Yeah, but what was your adjective for the aromas? Exquisite. Aromas? Exquisite. But uh, it's, uh, what is it in Catalan? Uh, thing, is it? No, shocking. Cupido. Cupido. Alteras. Sexalen. Cupidores aromas. Striking. You're giving it a very positive. I, 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 there, think, I think it was positive, but. Yeah. Okay, I, I, went, I went for. Something a bit more um, striking there. Oh, and I also thought, what are you doing about these sparkling? Well, oh, this was this was true. Well, you made the um, the chirping that sparkles, and I don't I know, think they are. Right. The no, 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 I didn't say sparkles. I said sparks. That sparks the air, you know. But you you cannot, can you? I mean, that's what sound chir- cannot be used? Cricket you can't, chirping. You can't combine chirping. a metaphor of sound with a metaphor of light. Are you saying that's the problem? Well, it does seem to be a bit of a. a Mixed metaphor, as they say. Whereas I thought the air was sparkling because of the quality of the light. Perhaps not. All right. So, 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 so then you take "esbournejan" mm. as an adjective describing lighter. Yes. And what did you say? Okay, well, lighter. Just a moment. Lighter. Okay, lighter. Esbournejan. Uh, I. I okay, and lighter. If you got. But yeah, if you had a comma there, then you'd be right. But there's no comma. I took esponejant as, as an adjective. You took it as a present part? Well, I, I wanted to, yeah, I, I you know, and, uh, you see, because it's funny, you said you wanted a comma there to make it clearer. I well, would have, I would have felt happier with a comma there to then understand that that was describing later. No. If you had... No, no, it's really if you had a comma, it would be uh, yeah. as, as gris. It's going to jump on this, but you could be right. Yeah. No, no, I, I think I'm we'll afraid. Correct his punctuation. That's, that's a point to you there, I suppose, Anto. Got to concede that one. Um, and the vegetable pigments, I didn't like that at all. Vegetable dyes? Vegetable dyes, but then dyes as something's dye, or well, perhaps it would fit in, yeah. Well, if you know the difference in the spelling, you probably wouldn't get confused there. Y- yes. I found I mm. found him dies is okay. It was a D Y isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I fa- I found him a bit pedantic telling us that, that it was the Volan del Cocha. I thought that the del Cocha was slightly was unnecessary. Uh, but you but you what did I do? Steering wheel into the steering wheel of cars, just in case you thought it was a steering wheel of his what? I'm using alliteration. Here I mean I needed the cars because it's clean. Clean. Okay, and so the rhythm. I mean, I'm not exactly on that stuff. Never mind. No, it isn't. But I mean, the rhythm was. I could leave out of cars, of course. Okay, but, so you know, I, I was going. I was going for short. Yeah. I was avoiding pedantry, and I was going for an iambic, who cling to the steering wheel. That's not even a good iambic. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've got a little bit of an extra weak <laughs> syllable in there. Cling to the steering wheels of cars. Clearing to the steering wheels of cars. Yeah. Okay. 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 So one well, time, flee from the solitude of the city. And yes. Okay. They, 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 so they, they do pull in where the woods welcome least. Do you think that I was being over energetic by having skidding? Yeah, I couldn't see the skidding. <laughs> yeah, you pulled into this gas station. Yeah, I sort of. Yeah, I can imagine di- driving these nasty, slippery roads. I think sliding. I think it does. It, the sliding uh, gets the dampness of it. Liscant is literally to slide, to slip. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. So it's it, it uh, and the road 
looks like a dirt road. And yeah, it's uh, yeah, it it's is a bit muddy. Yeah, so yeah. no, so you know, there's, there's no mud there, but I see what you mean. Well, yeah, but no, it's it's not it's not tonic. That's for sure. Okay, let's, let's, let's see what the man did. Yeah, this is uh, Lauren Fanuti's prize winning. <laughs> <laughs> Gas, not uh, <coughs> yeah. Bear. I'll just do straight for this. Gas, nineteen forty. Dust rises as the car pulls to a stop at the filling station, and the attendant who works the pumps doesn't even turn his eyes. Far removed from any commotion, the spot is a clearing in the heart of a forest, subdued by an uninviting shadiness. The fading sun wraps it in a cloak of muted light, and, like a fast track, the highway disappears around a bend between the leafy trees that flank it. Thickets and grass and earth exhale pungent scents that penetrate the lungs. The cricket's cadenced grating echoes in the luminescent evening air. The forms our sight encompasses will dissolve before long like sugar or vegetable colours. Once here, with everything halted in mid-course, a gradation of solitudes lifts its face. The solitude that wafts with the slack wind stirring leaves and branches and the kind that costs dearly to reach. The solitude of wilderness and the kind expressed only by those who grip the steering wheel to escape from urban loneliness gliding over narrow highways to stop where the forest is most impenetrable. Mm. You reckon? I liked, I liked his first half. He had lots of good solutions there. But he, but he, when he suddenly waxed very, when he got to the, his imitation of Hopkins, with that long, long, that was round about the gentle wind. Mm -hmm. about the, he then came. Into well, that's the, where it starts in in the Catalan. Yeah, but, okay, but the, I mean, the fact is that the Catalan it does become more poetic, but doesn't sort of take off into. It does uh, take off for me. Not not into nineteenth century no verbiage because the, the the Lexus there is really pretty flat. Stirring, yeah, in Catalan it's flat. You mean, yeah. Yeah, but when he goes into well, see, the, the kind that costs dearly to reach, I think that's just a mistranslation, surely. Um, sorry to pick up the mistakes, but the one that's hard to grasp. Yeah, cost dearly to reach. I didn't get that at all. Guess costos a borda. Right, right. So he's, he's could, staying could be more be more more like, uh, staying close to the text in a, in some sort of sense. But uh, me cuesta. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's hard to. I think it's a possible reading, but I don't think it's it wasn't your reading. It wasn't mine. I, I liked I liked subdued. Was this subdued light? Yes, for submiss. That's what. Oh, it was. that's yeah. No, no, because because it's good for light, isn't it? Uh, but he but he then got a bit. Uh, the, the uninviting shadiness. Oh, well, shadiness is nice yes, as yeah, well. I yeah. think because it's bringing out all the figures of Debbie Bond of the yeah. Uh, something evil is going to happen, and the uninviting. Well, the line is too long, though, so... I mean, a clearing in the heart, which I like to, of a forest subdued by an uninviting shadiness. It's a shadow. Mm. In Catalan, it's a shadow. It's not... But you yourself chose shade, as opposed shade, to shadow. Shade, but shade is... Uh, yeah, yeah, but it is, a, it is a shade, isn't it? Shade, I, I didn't object to that. Muted light is okay. Yeah. And like a fast track, the highway disappears. You see, the thing is, okay, I'm yeah. looking at the picture. That I don't, I mean, it doesn't look like a highway, really, and it doesn't look like a particularly well. Yeah. Okay, fast track. Hmm. I think road, really. I mean, it's just the road through a forest, isn't it? Well, was it? I uh, used a, a second person, a first person plural somewhere there. Ah. Oh. The our forms side. our sight encompasses. So, who the hell is our us? This is the the outlines that command the view. The mm. forms our sight encompasses will dissolve before long like sugar. So uh, we are looking at a painting here. Whereas we were still in the picture. 
Els contorns que es dominen amb la vista is the, the silhouettes yeah. that... When the light goes, they will disappear. Yeah, but before it goes, um, they, they, are, they are dominated by looking at them. I mean, as, 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 you put that dominate the view. It's es dominen am la vista. It's the silhouettes that uh, okay, but I know. the act of looking at is the way you dominate them, surely. God, and I changed it. I believed you were right. The outlines that command the view. And what did he put? The form, our sight, and comfort. The forms, our sight, and comfort. Right, so he's, he's capturing the idea that the looking, the act of looking, is what dominates. Yeah, that's what I have. Then I corrected it because I thought you were good. But silhouettes dominated by sight. It's not very clear, is it? So you would have. Yeah, I'm afraid that I, I'm afraid that both of your translations are more accurate than mine. But I think yours makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. And and it, which is why I changed mine. And, and it slips off the tongue a bit easier. Uh, what was it? What did you? Have? Uh, the outlines that command the view. Yeah, where it's, it's actually the view that commands the outlines in the catalog. No, the, well, the act of looking that commands that. Yes. So the, yeah, what is the act of looking? I, I like vegetable colours. That was good. Uh, as opposed to dice. a problem. Well, is it clear what it is, though? Vegetable what? colours? Well, it's the things that dissolve. Are you sure? Like colours, like, like, like dissolve like sugar or vegetable colours. As they the, dissolve in water or something. Look, the colours of vegetables, when you put them in water. No, I understand that as the sun goes down, gradually all the colours will gradually dissolve. Yeah, but what are these vegetable colours? Well, the, those pigments... Big well, well, I mean, he, he, he's getting it from the original guy. Let's let's ask for well, uh, pigments. Poor old Venuti. Oh, pigments. Pigment and vegetals. Vegetals. So yeah. I put pigments because you know. Okay. I, I actually originally I put watercolors because I could see the yeah oh. things dissolving in that, but that was a bit far fetched. Hmm. What did he do for gradation? Gradation. Gradation of solitudes. Yeah, I had gradation for a long time. And then I, I thought I'd make it a Christian. Lifts its face, so he stuck closely to the... It's exactly what they have. Yeah. What it, the Catalan is, yeah. Whereas we both felt a little bit embarrassed about that. And no, tried, I had that for a long time. It. And then I thought, face you, because I thought, well, I'm going to put a second person there. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I approved of his choice of wilderness. Wilderness, obviously you would, Yeah. <laughs> And slack, slack wind. What the hell is a slack wind? Well, a gentle wind. A slack wind? Yes, you can. I'm sure sailors talk about slack wind. Ah, yes. True enough. Well, were well, there a yacht in the sea? <laughs> it would be fun. Right. <laughs> Once here, uh, here, this business about the, the uh, um, parada in. Tot fen una parada and a trajecta. That's interesting. When everything, everything halted in mid course. No, the tot I, I don't think is everything. I think it's toti que. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Even though you only stopped here for a exactly, while. Exactly, exactly. This is why I had just so making it. Larry, a learn Catalan. <laughs> no, it's brilliant. It's brilliant, Larry. But there are two things that. And 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 that don't correspond to our clearly, Catalan. Clearly, was yeah. um, referring to the the, the person hi who hi hypothetically would stop at this gas station and then see these things. So I don't know, because our sight encompasses his yeah. person looking at the painting. Yes, so he's, he's, he does sort of bring the viewer of the painting into the poem as well. Mm -hmm. Which could be in the Catalan too. Mm. Uh, I didn't see it, but it could. It does make sense. Right then, so what is it? A draw? Ah, uh, a draw. Yeah, I think so. No, I mean, I mean the, the, the Venuti version really works the vocabulary very well. And uh, like the other poem, it's just, you know, occasionally things that... Um, is it, is well, it he's, he's, he's looking at it etymologically and not in terms of spoken catalog. Hmm. Yeah. And, uh, and like, like the thing about um, Toti K and uh, Tot Fent. And, and yeah. the other one was what... Um, uh, Costosa. The, yeah. Um, uh, Oh yes, yeah. yeah. Which I think he's looking at it more literally than yeah than we are in the sense yeah because we understand it as echoing um, Costa. It's hard for me to do something. 
Yes, okay. Well, good, no? Thank you, Marisman. Thank you, Bulbos. <laughs> <laughs> Reconvene for the next encounter. All right. Thank you.